what is going on guys horcrux here welcome back to the channel and guess what deadlands is here as predicted magicka dragonites are absolutely overpowered the mag dk is back in action in full swing it is our time to shine guys so let's get into one of the most broken pvp builds you could run on your mag dk let's do it right now Okay guys, so before we get into today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys keep me going. Thank you all so much for your ongoing support. I know we've got a couple more patrons here in the, in the past week or so. Thank you so much for your support. Welcome to the community. That out of the way, let's get into the build, guys. I love this. Wait till you... <laughs> I'm getting very giddy. Just I'm trying to calm myself, right? Talking about this build. I'm going to try to keep it as short and sweet as possible, but there's a lot to unravel. So we're not going to miss any details. So let's start with the basic character sheet. Here's everything completely unbuffed. We are running the Atro Mundus because it's just broken. We're running the Bewitch Sugar Skulls food. We're not running Vampire. You do not need it whatsoever. And then we're running Britain as our race for the cost reduction. Now, if we get everything fully buffed up here. So we're getting a 5,500 spell damage on our front bar. We got about 28% crits. Resistances are crazy high as well. Even on the back bar, we're hitting at 25k physical resistance. So recovery, you don't have to worry about any of that, guys, because of the charge trait change. They changed the charge trait to where it pretty much doubles it. And yeah, that's what we're kind of abusing on this build, to be honest. The charge is really great. I myself had no issues sustaining last patch. And now we can run dual wield. And one of the good things about running dual wield is since they doubled the effective charge now we can put charge on one of our swords and in addition we can have one more trait to play around with on our front bar which is really cool so what sets what we're running i'm gonna go ahead and spoil the best part first you guys may have heard me talk about it but we are running the deadly strike set so we're running dual wield this time i know you guys like my dk builds i've never ran dual wield before well it's an absolute must on this i mean you could run an inferno staff if you want but the benefits of dual wield just greatly outweighs inferno staff okay so in our mayhem we're running nerd home on our off hand we are running charge we're running poisons because of the change of the combustion passive every time you inflict someone poisons you actually get a whole thousand stamina back which is pretty nutty right so the deadly strike set what it does it gives you weapon spell damage uh, it gives you crit weapon spell damage and then increases your damage over time and channel abilities by 15 percent that is literally every single ability we have in our kits besides our whip and our leap this 15% is absurd. Wait till you see these tool slips here in just a moment. All right. So this is what we're running on our front bar. No, you do not have to double bar this set because you're not going to kill anyone on your back bar. So having the five piece proc on your back bar, who cares, right? You're only going to kill people on your front bar anyway. That's when you need your dots to do the most damage. So we're only running this on the front bar. Back bar. Yes, we're running iron blood. They did not change it. They did not nerf it. Thank you so much, Zoss, for leaving this set completely alone. It's very broken. You're definitely going to need it this patch with all the crit builds coming out with the proc sets. Guys are going to be hitting super, super hard. So you, you have to be able to live the burst, especially with these stamina boys with the Calorian set now. It's pretty scary. All right. Next set we're running, we're actually running Grothgar. We are back to our roots, guys. So look at the tool tip on this bad boy. Look at the tooltip on this bad boy. It is back to where it was originally before all the nerves. 22, 50, and some change. But now, guys, it can crit too, right? It can also crit. So Rothgar hits hard as hell. They did nerf applying the burning stats effect for balancing reasons for the DK, but this still hits really, really hard. And if there's people around you, like you could just absolutely melt people with rocko we are running the two piece of this obviously now when it comes to the armor weights ideally you want to run three three one i unfortunately do not have a light rothgar shoulder of all things so i am forced to run a two four one spread math hard yeah two four one but ideally you want three three one when it comes to the traits on the sets um we are running dead three deadly on the body with the dual wield on the front bar and now you'll want to run your iron blood jewelry okay 
and then you'll have iron blood on the back bar your resto staff as well defending i might add is the trait i forgot to go over that and then you want the iron blood curious ideally you want this reinforced but i didn't want to use the transmute stones to change this running a, a pretty good spread running impenetrable a reinforce on your heavy piece if you got it and then the rest of it you probably want to run impenetrable i again am very frugal and don't want to waste my transmute stones which i do not grind for whatsoever guys so rocking sturdy here and then we are rocking one piece training to kind of fill out our slot economy uh, this should be in pin not well fitted and then the jewelry now this is very important we're running everything infused okay spell damage spell damage and then we're running one cost reduction there's two benefits to this i want to explain just a moment it kind of makes this build super nutty and one of the skills in the dk kit that they change ash cloud is probably the most op skill in the entire game right now so we'll come back to this one so here's the entire setup I'm only running one tri stat piece on Rothgar. you could if you want to be a little more tanky you run tri stats on your bigger pieces but i wouldn't recommend it you're plenty tanky enough then plus with the iron blood proc you're kind of not gonna die okay skills skills have changed quite a bit from our previous right and also i forgot to, uh we're running malakath yeah malakath you can swap this to ring of the pell order if you want to kind of crush on the crit it's completely interchangeable if you want to because the grothgar can crit so ring of the pell order is definitely not bad plus you get a really nutty heal from it when you're solo 20 percent life still from all your dots that's pretty crazy so you can either run malakanth or ring of the pell order it's entirely up to you okay guys now skills skills where it gets really fun front bar is identical so we're running engulfing flames i just want you guys to take one look at the tooltips all right just just, just for one second just for one second our tooltip on leap is 24k all right our, our, our tooltip on our burning embers is, is 25k <laughs> it is 25k all right guys it's these dots hit so hard it's and plus the more damage you do the more healing you get from burning embers but we'll, we'll go over the sets again all oh, the skills engulfing flames definite must fossilize definitely run fossilize or shattering because of the changes to whip because the changes to whip you can permanently get a power lash so when you use burning talons you'll immobilize them if they try to roll dodge you see see them fossilize now they're immobilized again that means you can keep power lashing there's no cooldown on power lash now so you're lit literally a ballerina okay so we'll just go ahead and take a moment to read it here targeting off balance enemy or mobilized changes its ability to power lash allowing you to lash an enemy at half the cost a deal a metric shit ton of flame damage and healing you for this is a burst still now it's not over two seconds they remove the internal cooldown to this you can literally be a ballerina this is the best change in the DK kit by far, and it has completely changed the way the class function. The the class functions as the best offense is the best defense, or however the saying goes, right? You, I'm trying to not come from going over this class, trying to keep my cool. So, Burning Embers. Brosh is leaving the front bar. Back bar. This is a flex spot. I don't know exactly what I run, want to run yet. I will be streaming this build every single day. So this is your flex spot. You can either put Entropy or a Molten Armament here because everything's hybridized. Your light attacks from your dual wield hit super hard, like really, really hard. But they changed Flames of Oblivion to hit three people now. So this is just added burst. Plus you get crit on the back bar from this and it hits three people. It's pretty good. Uh, and again, this is a flex spot. You can swap this out for Entropy or a Molten Armament. Entirely up to you. Coagulating blood on the back bar, rapid regeneration back bar, volatile armor. They did change this a little bit. I, I forgot what they did. Uh, to be honest, I think they did something. Don't quote me on that. Eruption. This skill is nutty. We're going to take a look at the tooltips just so you guys have reference from what Ash Cloud can actually do or eruption. This does 2800 a second second this is 5.6k over two seconds right this lasts for 18 seconds look at the magicka cost they change it to a toggle ability if you run an infused cost reduction on this this originally cost like 360 magicka but if you run infused cost reduction lift it changes it down to 64 magicka just the 64 you toss it down and that's it look at my magicka pool nothing happens Literally nothing happens. And you can just re-toggle this anywhere. 
Like, it really doesn't matter. You can kind of spam this and, like, nothing happens. Look, my Magicka doesn't go, go down at all. It just hits so hard. So it's hitting for, like, 1,800. Then Burning Embers is hitting for, you know, like, 1,900, right? So this is pretty much a Burning Embers on the entire ground. And it's inflicting people with Burning Sass effects the entire time. You can use the Healing more for this if you want to. But this damage is so freaking crazy, man. Like, this, this honestly needs turn down a little bit um i'm not sure if they intended this to be this cheap a cost with the cost reduction they may have to go in and change some of the, some of the, the math whatever behind it but right now guys put this on your bar even the healing morph is really good but if you just want a metric shit ton of damage especially in bgs you just toss this cloud into the big mosh pit of people and you're gonna light people up and then last but not least, we have Corrosive Armor. I don't have to explain this. You already hit like a freight train. Imagine popping this and going in on someone. It is over. GG, no re. Okay. And plus, you're pretty much godlike the entire time. But that's the skill build. That's the eye to build, guys. We're going to hop into our champion system. The champion system, you may or may not agree with it, but this is what I'm running I'm not even running Ironclad, which is, you know, like barring on like one of the best TPs. You're so tanky on this build, guys. You don't need it. Especially if you swap Malakant to Ring of the Pale Order. All that ongoing healing you're doing just intrinsically. You don't have to run any defensive CP. So I literally have every single one of my CP points into the, the big boys up here. We got Biting Auras. We got Deadly Aim, Thaumaturge, Master at Arms. Have everything in this tree. I don't think I'm ever on changes whatsoever. We go over to the blue tree. I do have a survival instinct as pains refugees because this is a pretty uh pretty crazy CP as well. I believe this is bugged. I believe this tooltip is bugged. I think this no 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 this is right. This is right because in the past it's 20%. Forget what I said, Horcrux is on crack, sustained by suffering, and then balanced vitality for a little bit of health. Just make sure we don't get uh, bursted in case we caught with our pants down on a front bar where iron blood cannot proc. And then green tree, it really doesn't matter. If you are running the expensive potions, which I'm about to go over, liquid efficiency is an absolute must. So potions I would recommend for this build, fellas. Going into the slottables here. Try stats are pretty good, but the last spell draw allows you to free up a slot on your back bar. Plus, it gives you crit in the front bar as well. So, you can run the last spell draw boss. These are really good because you can run, you don't have to run like Molten Armors or Entropy or anything like that on the back bar. As you guys saw, I'm running Flames of Oblivion just for even more damage. And then it gives you the crit as well. The crit really doesn't matter all too much because we're running Malakanth, but if you swap it to Ring of the Pale Order, it's really good as well. So, it's entirely up to, up to you guys how you want to run it. Then always have Essence of Detection. This is an absolute must for you DK guys out there. And then you need to run, if you have the money, there are these Heroism potions that are pretty much a tripod, but instead of giving the health burst and the health recovery, it gives you minor Heroism at all times. And as you guys know, with the Combustion Passive from the DK, that more ult equals more damage equals more sustain. Now, I'm not going to go into all the passives and all the little niche changes. I think I covered the majority of the changes that needed to be talked about you have the power last change the where you can pretty much be a ballerina the entire time flames of oblivion now has three fireballs you have eruption which is pretty much free to cast right and then that's pretty much it your dot damage is absolutely through the roof. It's, if he, if this gets cleansed, who cares? Everything's super cheap to cost because you have an infused cost reduction glyph on your bar. So guys, have at it. Have a good time. This is the DK's time to shine. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I will answer them as soon as I am able. Don't forget, I have a Discord. I have a Patreon. I have a PvP Top 5. Please send your clips to horcruxeso at yahoo.com. Now... Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Don't forget, I'll be streaming all week on this build, so please enable the bell icon so you know when I go live. You guys take care. Peace. <laughs>